before I even go on, anti that antibiotics they gave you since two months ago, why did you finish it? Okay, your own is not two months ago. They gave it to you last week, and you used two tablets, and because I feel better, you didn't complete it. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Why did you complete it? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much for clicking on my video. I appreciate it. Thank you very much to my old subscribers. The love you guys showed me. My very, very first video was overwhelming. I felt you guys, thank you for giving me a very warm welcome. So today, I want us to talk about toilet infection, toilet disease. Some people call it vaginal infection. Some call it urinary tract infection. Did you actually get it from the toilet? Before I even go on, anti that antibiotics they gave you since two months ago, why did you finish it? Okay, your own is not two months ago. They gave it to you last week and you used two tablets and because I feel better, you didn't complete it. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Why did you complete your dosage? So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Hi guys. So, um, talking about urinary tract infection urinary tract infection or vaginal infection actually occurs when the normal flora that's the normal microorganisms in the vagina have been displaced they've been overpowered by maybe other by other organisms or when you actually wash off the normal flora with too much antibiotics let me break it down the causes of urinary, of urinary tract infection or what we call um, toilet disease which is actually not picked from the toilet because there was a study that shows that it is very, very rare for you to get infected with urinary tract infection from the toilet seat. So how do we get it? Urinary tract infection is caused by multiple sexual partners. If your, sexual, if your partner is having sex with another person that has it, is carrying it to you. It may not actually manifest the symptoms. The guy may not actually manifest the symptoms, but it's bringing it to you and you most likely depending on your personal hygiene, gets um, infected. Another cause is menopause. Women that have reached menopause are susceptible to urinary tract, urinary tract infections. Then wiping from back to front. Wiping, when, you, you, when you do number two, you wipe. When you wipe from back to front, you introduce the feces into your vagina. E. coli, which is one of the major causes of urinary tract infection, is the normal flora of the anus. So when you wipe from back to front, you wipe it directly into your vagina and then it displaces other microorganisms and gets you infected. Another cause is immunocompromised um, patients. When people that have underlying ailments like HIV, like diabetes, those diseases, their immunity is already breached. Their immunity is already down. So they are very susceptible to any infection at all. And you can actually, your immunity can actually get down because you're using too much antibiotics. If you, are, if, you are, if you are abusing antibiotics, you are, going, you are basically killing off all the microorganisms, both the good ones and the bad ones. And when the good ones that are actually supposed to be protecting you get killed off, then you are going to get infected. Do you understand? It's like there are soldiers there, and you brought, you are, there are police officers there, and you brought soldiers to fight everybody, to kill everybody, and the soldiers killed the police officers and your dogs and everything and every other person when they leave your house is not secured you can get infected you can get raped you can get speaking of rape go protect us all women you know you can get robbed and all so don't use don't abuse antibiotics don't say because you have pimple you have boy you can't use antibiotics antibiotic abuse causes you not have infection multiple sexual partner and there's this trend, there's this, I see everybody selling vagina, pearl, vagina, so nothing should go into your vagina. Not even perfume, not this perfume, female, feminine, hygiene stuff people sell here and there, no. The only thing that should enter your vagina is water, clean water. That's it, it's okay. You can, it's not, it's not beast, it's not meat. You don't have to steam it and add maggi and curry, no. Just add water, just clean it with water. If you feel dirty, if you feel like, you feel dirty, then there. Just apply water, wash it with water, and you are good to go. 
So we've mentioned sex, having multiple sexual partners, we've mentioned um, too much. That's about um, abuse of antibiotics. We've mentioned um, feminine products because feminine products will actually alter the pH, and when the pH has been altered, you are going to get infected. You're going to have itching. You're going to have discharge. You're going to do all that. Pregnancy. So people, pregnant women in their first trimester, trimester are actually very susceptible to urinary tract infection. What else do we have? I think that would be all for the course. And then, that's not all. Using non-cutting panties. Cutting panties actually allow brief, um, free, they actually allow hair into the vagina. When you wear silk, silk when you wear other non-breathable materials, you know, you get all damp and wet there and these organisms, they grow and expand and get productive in damp environment. So, all we can prevent it is drink a lot of water, a whole lot of water. Use cotton pants. If you don't like cotton pants, buy cotton pants liner. That's that's you can use your silk, wear your silk pants, but use cotton pants liner. That way, you are using one bird to kill. I using one stone. <laughs> English. I using one stone to kill two birds. So, the um, how you can treat urinary tract infections at home. First of all, drink water. The moment you start noticing that you feel you have unusually heavy discharge or cloudy discharge or dirty or fish smell, don't immediately pop antibiotics. No, stop. Drink water. Drink a lot of water. Like drink like three, four liters of water in a day. That way you are doing yeah you, you are actually nourishing your body, your skin or every other thing. Then Cranberry juice really really helps. I mean you can grab cranberry juice from the counter of any supermarket You drink cranberry juice. It doesn't taste bad and you're good to go. Yogurt if you eat I'm not saying you're gonna put yogurt that day, please. I read it somewhere that No, just buy yogurt and drink it has probiotics and it covers you but if all things oh, okay, then Apple cider vinegar really 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 helps. Apple cider vinegar is a lifesaver. You should have it at home if you're feeling bloated, use apple cider vinegar, drink, I mean, dilute water and drink. So just dilute apple cider vinegar, like one or two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar in a cup of water and drink morning and night. It really, really helps. But after doing all this for five days and you don't feel better or you feel like the symptoms are not reducing, please visit your doctor. The first thing they will do to you or yeah, the, first, the very first test they will carry out on you when you visit um, a gynecologist or you visit a medical doctor is vagina swab they will take your sample and then do culture and sensitivity check what exactly is causing the microorganism that is causing it is it a bacterial infection is it a yeast infection they will check if any antibiotic will be able to cure it because some people have already used all the antibiotics in this world and their body is already resistant to it such that if they give them any antibiotic it might not work so please guys stop abusing antibiotic if you want if you if you want antibiotics to work for you when you actually need them, so abuse, abusing antibiotics, I thank you. And we just visit your doctor if you feel like all the symptoms still persist after five days or they are not if you don't feel better. Visit your doctor. So thank you very much for watching to the end. Thank you very much, guys. Please subscribe. I've not said it today. That should be my anthem. Please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you've learned one or two. And if there's anything you notice or you use that I didn't mention, please drop it in the comment section down below. And please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. I'll drop my handle somewhere. Follow me on Twitter, on Instagram. And let us talk. Let us relate. So I see you in my next video. Bye.